Well, we're in a, uh, a competitive uh, political environment. Uh, the heart of electoral politics is about contestability, uh, is about uh, candidates uh, defeating other candidates. That's the nature of the business that we're in. So uh, I guess it's un understandable uh, in, in that environment, in that situation, that there, there will be uh, tensions around the margins. Uh, but we need to put those things aside. We need to focus on the national interest and we need to focus on uh, forming the next government for Australia. Mark Butler, is this, uh, are these internal uh, issues on the, uh, the, the coalition side of the fence? The Nationals today, the front page of The Australian, uh, Senator Williams, Wacker Williams says, if we're going into government, the Nationals aren't going to just sit back and watch the money pour into the independent seats, is what he says uh, to The Australian newspaper. Um, are these sensitivities something that you will play on uh, and that the government is hoping will work in your favour? Well, well, I think it's, it's not just about working in our favour, it's about the national interest. That, uh, like I said at the beginning of the, your interview, uh, there, there are question marks about Tony Abbott's capacity to bring stability to these negotiations, let alone uh, to three years of minority government. Uh, what it appears from this morning's reports and the meeting that is scheduled to take place today of the National Party MPs and Senators is that Tony Abbott may well have to open up a new front of negotiation, and that is with his own ostensible coalition partner, the National Party. Uh, so there are very, very critical questions, I think, not only about the way in which a number of the Liberal Party or National Party MPs uh, are behaving during these negotiations, and we're not sure whether it is Liberal Party or National Party, but also as a group, whether the coalition itself is able to hold together during a, an incredibly delicate time for the national interest. Senator Fifield, what's your response to that, particularly in, in the context of Rob Oakeshott's criticisms of the National Party for running a smear campaign against him and he, he pointed the finger at Warren Trust, the Nationals leader in all of that as well. Well, I, I can't think of a parliamentary colleague less likely to be conducting a smear campaign than Warren Truss, and uh, Warren has said uh, that's not the case, so, so obviously uh, I accept that. Um, I don't think uh, we're tearing ourselves apart on the coalition side of politics. It's, uh, it's clearly Labor uh, that is doing that. You've got the national president of the ALP, uh, Premier Anna Bly, uh, who had a, a right, uh, right almighty swipe at uh, her federal parliamentary colleagues the other day, uh, criticising directly the federal Labor campaign. Uh, you've got people running around with meat axes uh, looking for Carl Batar. Uh, you've got uh, Senator Mark R. Bibb, who's in witness protection program at the moment, being pulled off uh, the Q&A television program. Um, Labor are in absolute disarray. Um, they're barely keeping it together. Uh, and uh, there's no doubt that uh, it's only the coalition that is able to provide a stable and competent government. Uh, the ALP, uh, with a majority, weren't able to provide stable and competent government. So there's absolutely no chance that, as a minority government, that they would be able to do that. Mark Butler, is that true that Labor is barely keeping it together? I, I, I should point out that uh, Maurice Yemmer was very uh, open in his criticisms of Carl Batar as well last, last week in the wake of the uh, election. Chris Schott, former ALP minister sitting in the seat where you are this morning, uh, had a big spray on Friday saying it was the worst campaign he'd seen. Now, is this just trying to keep a lid on the simmering tensions underneath what was a disastrous um, election campaign? We've seen Guy Barnett commenting on the Tasmanian campaign. We've seen Albie Schultz commenting on the three-cornered contests again in New South Wales. I think it is inevitable that after a campaign where uh, a major party is unable to get an absolute majority of seats, and that was the case with the Labor Party as it was with the Coalition, uh, some people will make some public comments about the campaign. That's happened on both sides, and I'd be surprised uh, if there weren't some more from outside of the parliamentary party of the Labor Party. But it is important to note that, that Chris Schott and Morris Yemmer are historical figures of the Labor Party. They are not part of the caucus. They played an incredibly important role at other times in our history, but they are not part of the caucus. Uh, and for all of, 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 for all of, for all, for all, again, she's not part of the federal parliamentary caucus, Mitch. Um, she's your and, and for all, the, for all, for all of Mitch's bluff and bluster about about uh, meat axes and so on, he is unable to point to any member of the parliamentary Labor Party uh, who is making any comment other than getting entirely behind Julia Gillard's negotiations with the rural independents, the Greens and Andrew Wilkie from Tasmania. Uh, the approach from the Labor Party is entirely disciplined and it's entirely united. We're not seeing the same, however, from the coalition party room.
All right, gentlemen, let's take a quick break on our AM agenda. We'll be right back. Stay with us.